come here. I want to tell you something. So you want to do another custom t-shirt? Well, that's exactly what we're going to do. And today, we're going to talk about layering vinyl. Now, some of these vinyls we have out here can be layered, and in this video, we're going to layer it three times. Now, I don't always suggest doing it, and I don't always do it, but in one part of this project, we got to layer it three times, and we're going to go over that. Everything we go about will be in the links below in the description and if you guys have any questions any concerns anything you want me to go over just got to leave it in the comments below let's go ahead and talk man let's go ahead and be a community and y'all let me know what y'all need what you want to see if you want to see product videos you like my t-shirts and my decals we can do more different types of projects y'all just let me know and with that being said yo we're just gonna jump right in and we're gonna go ahead and start making this t-shirt and we're gonna go into the computer and the program and I'm gonna show you what we got so let's go what's going on guys and today we're gonna talk about saving space and vinyl saving material and uh, all our scraps so that way we can use them another again for another project and we're here inside our studio designer from the silhouette and this is a little design I got this is for a family that's going on a vacation they're going on a cruise we actually did their other shirt right here with the Dr. Seuss with the cat in the hat it got a little complicated there was about four different colors there this one's simple it's only two and we're gonna show you about stacking the vinyl now some vinyls can't be stacked, some vinyls can. You just have to read on the manufacturer and see what it's about. Like I said, I use Thermal Flex Plus that I get. And um, I really love this material. It's really soft and thin. And we're gonna show you how, you know, you can just put more than one object on that paper to kind of the vinyl to save on material. Because that's what we wanna do. We wanna save every dollar we can get so we can maximize our money. So right here, we have this little design right here. And you can see that it's grouped together meaning if I move it, it all moves together here. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna ungroup it. All right, so now we got each one individually we can move, all right? But we all, we wanna keep all this white together because we're gonna print white and another one of these whites on the same vinyl. So what we're gonna do is ungroup the hat. All right, so now all these white ones can be moved individually. Let's go ahead and put that back. So what we're now we're gonna do is hold shift on each one. That way we can grab every single one. And we're we'll right click and we will hit group. Now there's short keys and all that stuff, but I just like it like this to keep it simple. So right now, as you can see, these are grouped together. So we're gonna keep that, we'll put that off to the side. Now these red ones, we're gonna go ahead and group together. Now there's another way you can save even more material. Um, say if I didn't group these, you see this gap right here? So on my red vinyl, there's gonna be a huge gap. Now, if you wanna save even more material, you could just come down here and grab this and then just pop a hat there, pop another hat, pop another hat, and just do a bunch of these, boom, 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 and save. But I wanna keep it simple. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep these together. And we'll print it, we'll do them off like that. So that's not too bad. We'll go ahead and group these. And see with this here, we then will be able to keep like two or three of these on the same page, depending on how we twist it and work it. Hopefully we'll be able to get three, that'd be that'd be best. But right now we're gonna work with this white one here. So we have this white one and we're gonna add the other one down here that I already done. And what we're gonna do is unlike the decals. And like some of my other videos, I said before, these have to be scented mirrored. So we're gonna go ahead and flip them horizontally. That way they send them backwards because the adhesive, the transfer on the vinyl is actually on there. There's no need for transfer tape like the decal vinyl, the 651. This actually has a transfer paper on there. So you wanna cut it backwards. Now I already sized up all the designs. I like to keep it away from the edge a little bit so that way if my vinyl's off or the vinyl moves it doesn't end up cutting my design and we're gonna go up here and use these cut boxes like I used before these are just gonna make weeding the material a little bit better a little bit easier and I'm gonna make one on the bottom too because the vinyl I'm using is actually about 20 inches long um, 
and we're only gonna cut short, so I don't, I'm gonna save so we can save on material now. So if I'm only cutting 11 inches, I'll have what nine inches left over, and that's just extra scraps that we can use for another project to save money. Because if somebody wants just a small design, boom, we can use that white or any other color. So we'll go ahead and go over to the send. Now I'll do the red off off camera and stuff like that so then I'll take you over to the heat press and I'll show you how we stack them how I stack them I, I keep them together like this so I don't need registration marks some people use registration marks which will just be they'll put you know little square little squares like this so that way they can line them up so that way it matches but if I do it like this it's simple it doesn't it's too easy it works easy now also what we're gonna do here is before I go into the cut, we're gonna make sure these are centered. And I'll show you why after when we go ahead and put these on the shirt, I'll show you why I center them. And you should probably center it anyways. But yeah, we'll go over here into the cut. And I was able to get two of them on one paper. Uh, if I had a longer uh, mat, or if I did this without a mat, I could probably get, I could get all three on there on that same paper. But once I cut that bottom, that nine inches, I'll be able to use the rest of that scrap for this so i'm only using one sheet that i got i also got them in rolls but i like the sheets a lot so here we are and uh this thermal flex plus material this is not in there as a uh, preset it's just the settings i found and then you could save them uh to how you like so we go ahead and did that now this blue tool right here that's just a second needle you can use a second uh cutter you can use or they have their own uh, different types of pens that you can use and markers to draw. You can actually draw this out on some poster board or something like that. That's pretty cool. Uh, so that's all I'm going to use. And see the red is what we're going to cut like I said before. Uh, we can turn this off and put no cut if we wanted if we didn't want to cut that. But we want that to cut out. So we're going to go ahead and cut this. I'll go ahead and get into this cameo and I'll weed in and all that stuff for you. I'll just do a quick little video because I've done it plenty of times in my other videos and I'll just show you kind of how I line it up and how I put it on the heat press. Uh, this is a little bit different than our other ones because we only did a single color, just one put it on there and I'll leave all the, in the cards above, you'll see those and you can wait to the end and watch them also. Let's go ahead and jump in and we'll get to the next part. Alright guys, like we showed you before, we got our cameo right here and we're ready to send it off. What I want to show you is my mat. I have here as you can see it ends right here and it starts at the top it's only a 12 by 12 now my paper here is by like 16 so we have a little bit left over that's why we made that cut line at the bottom now we're gonna go ahead and send this in and we'll get it cut out all right so here we are at the weeding desk just my computer desk but uh got to use what you can use right uh, it's the computer desk in the hotel here's the one that we cut the white now you can't see the cut lines on the camera but I can see them here now that one little cut line we made that I told you would make help weeding easier that's what we're gonna use right now we're gonna pull out all the extra material and I'll show you I got it started with that cut line that we had there and we're just gonna pull it right off and it's real simple you ain't gotta be like I said you ain't gotta be too easy with it you know, you ain't gotta really take your time. This is where it can become daunting and it could take a while to do, depending on how how your uh, design is. Cause some of them get really tricky. They have a lot of different little cuts that you need to weed out with your little tool. But pretty much, I've got it pulled out already. Now there's a couple here on the inner spaces we have to get and they only take a couple seconds you go ahead and just grab your little tool there and you just dig them out all right guys here we are at the heat press and we're gonna be doing it on the blue shirt here is the mama one that you probably can't see that we weeded out already and you know we got the background hat and everything pulled out too now on our shirts here we need to go ahead and give it a pre-press to kind of get out the moisture and everything that would be in the shirt it kind of helps the shirt the vinyl bond to the shirt so we'll go ahead and give that a press 
just kind of give it about medium pressure. I'm not going to lock it down. Do it for about eight seconds or so. Okay, we got that all out. Now I'm going to show you a little thing that I like to do. A lot of other, other people who do vinyl shirts also do. We're going to go ahead and give this a fold in half. Now, we want to make sure it's completely even. And then we're going to go ahead and give that another press. Now pressing it like this is going to give us a center line to work off of. So we'll go ahead and got that. Go ahead and give that another press, probably about five seconds, six seconds. It's no science, it's kind of estimated there. All right. So we got that done. And you guys can't probably see it, but there is a nice center line there. And we're going to go ahead and set this back on the press. Now, for adult shirts, I usually start them about a hand width down. They'll start about that mid chest line. And so what I'm going to do is take my finger and rub it across and I'll leave a nice little mark. Now, these designs, they have two layers and with the hat having a third layer and we're going to go ahead and do that we have to put the hat down first so we're going to kind of just tie this up I'm going to go ahead and fold this because as you remember inside the program I made sure it was centered so that way I know it's centered on my paper so when I make fold it in half I'll leave two marks and that will even up with my center line that we made on the shirt and the line we went across, we know how high it is, so it makes it perfectly T. And this is just going to kind of give us the idea. Now, I'm not putting this one down first. We're actually putting the hat down first, but I want to go ahead and kind of get an idea of where I want the hat. So we want it about there. So we'll go ahead and stick that down right there. Lift that one up drop that down now I have my settings for this vinyl it says 325 315 to 325 but I have it at 330 because this is a, a cheaper heat press and sometimes it doesn't heat up evenly across the heater there now it's set for 15 seconds that's all it takes uh, technically because I'm layering it I could just do it for five seconds and pull it off but we're gonna go ahead and give it about maybe 10 seconds or so and then we'll pull it off. I like to give it a little extra. So we'll go ahead and set this down. All right, there it is. And one of the reasons why we're not doing the full time is because we're gonna go ahead and do more layers. So with the more layers, it's gonna get more heat and it will go ahead and adhere to the shirt. So it is a hot press or a hot peel. So we're gonna go ahead and peel it off Why it's still well warm peel. So we just give it a second and it's good to peel. I peel these off warm anyways, they work just fine. All right, and there is that. That is looking pretty good. All righty. Now we're on to our next step, and our next step is putting down the mama part. And what we're going to do is use our lines to line it up, but we also want to get our white on our hat kind of lined up with our hat, so we'll go ahead and do that. Now, because we have some of our vinyl exposed on our shirt already, we don't want to put the heat press down because the heat up here could damage it. So we're going to use a Teflon sheet. This Teflon sheet came with the heat press. You could buy them offline at three for 10 bucks or something like that. They're really cheap, nothing really expensive. So we're going to go ahead and put that on there. And we have one more to do, one more piece of red. So we're going to go ahead and let this go for another 10 seconds. All right, so like we said before, this is a warm, the hot, pre uh, hot peel. So we're going to go ahead and peel it now. You know, I was real nervous my first couple times doing this. Uh, you know, you just want to kind of get them lined up and straight for the customer. And you know, you just really want it to look good, especially with layering it. You know, it could be kind of scary at first. So there's our two layers. That's how we layer our vinyl, and I'll show you here in a second. But what I didn't realize is we have a third layer for the hat, just a small part. Uh, I really don't usually go three layers on designs, but for this specific one, it's just one little piece. It ain't that bad. So we're gonna go ahead and set that on there. 
And because we want to protect that vinyl we already have on there, we're going to go ahead and put our Teflon sheet back on there also. And we're going to press it for the full 15 seconds this time. Alright, so there it is. That would be our last one. We're going to go ahead and peel this. And because they all kind of got heated at different times and all that other good stuff, me personally, I like to go ahead and hit it again for another 5 to 10 seconds just to make sure everything is adhered pretty well. And because we have three layers there, we want to go ahead and hit that again. All right, so there it is, and we've completed the shirt, and it is done. We just gotta let it cool down. Now they suggest waiting 24 hours before washing it. I'm just gonna give it a nice little shake here. Um, I'll show you here in a second, it looks really good. And we'll pull it up to the camera so you guys can see it. All right. So if you have any questions or is anything you wanna know, go ahead and leave it in the comments below. I'll leave product links down there too to the vinyl, to the heat press, to this bad boy right here. Everything to get started is cost a little bit, but it's really not that bad. Now this shirt right here, I'll sell for 20 bucks. I buy all my shirts in bulk, so I get them down for a little bit of cheap. I buy my vinyls by the yard, so, or, or five yards, so I save a little bit of money there too. Uh, roughly the shirt will cost me about 250. Uh, when I buy them in bulk because I buy a whole bunch of them so each shirt runs about 250 and then for a 12 by 12 sheet of what I'm using it's about two dollars so you're talking about five dollars right there I sell it for 20 there's a $15 profit right there for each shirt you can't go wrong so if I sold you know 10 of these bad boys that's hundred and fifty dollars just in profit well with that being said y'all make sure y'all hit the thumbs up hit the subscribe button and we'll be back for more videos